So, so something else to consider, Vicky, is the effect of um, that food has on medication and the, and the timing of eating around your medication. So what I find is that when I've just eaten, the medication takes longer to take effect because it's sort of got to work through the digestive system. Whereas when I have an empty stomach and the medication sort of kicks in much faster and I, and I have to think about timing things accordingly. Do you have the same experience? Yeah, well, not as much, only because the medication I, on, I am on is still only one tablet a day. So I'm not on um, the regular timed. Um, so you're on a prolonged release, I guess. Yeah. No, yeah. So, so mine's, and I have heard with that that it might be better to take in the evening before bed for it to work while I'm asleep rather than in the morning. But interestingly, my mother who had Parkinson's, yeah, it was a, a massive effect. She always timed it to eat with, with her food or just just um, before. Yeah, so I think the, the timing of medication is a whole topic in itself. But um, yeah. What I find is, is there are sort of two schools of thought. One is you can take medication at regular intervals, which is what the, the doctors will ask yeah. you to do. Or you can do what I do, which is you take it sort of on demand when you feel the need. And yeah. I find um, when I exercise more, I, I find I, the, the dopamine in my brain depletes faster and I kind of need more medicine or when I'm yeah. very busy and active, which stands to reason, of course, if you're using more dopamine, you, you expect to need more medical help. So, so what I actually do is I just vary the amount I take through the day of levodopa um, according to how busy I am and how I feel and I, f I find for me that works quite well actually but that's not necessarily the case for everyone. No but that that's really interesting I think it's important for people to know that that they can do that so even if the doctor does say you know this is how you should do it actually you know you you can do it as to how you feel and and that is an important one and I think possibly that's where the sugar comes in um, because like you, I exercise a lot and get that dopamine rush and then you get that downer and that's maybe as well where we reach for the sugar because you want that instant high again and, um, you know, which which isn't great. But yeah, so doing the medication as to when you need it along with your food, that's, that's no, that's really useful for people to know. So, so I think in summary, I think all of these things are about finding what works for you. I don't think there's yeah. a one size fits all. I think it's about a bit of trial and error, finding the right medication balance and when to take that medication and finding the right diet that works for you. But bearing in mind that you don't want to obsess about it, you want to live your life as well. Yeah, no, I'd absolutely agree with all of that. We release a new video on Parkinson's every Thursday. So if you would like to find out more, do click on the subscribe button.